ओके हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ एनवायरमेंट द टॉपिक इज एंटोमोलॉजी ओके एंटोमोलॉजी दे स्ट्रेट अवे आस्क यू इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन और स्ट्रेट अवे दे आस्क विच डिजीज इज ट्रांसमिटेड बाय विच वेक्टर सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इज वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इज मस्कीटोज ओके सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट मस्कीटोज यू हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट एनोफिलीस okay you have to study about culex you have to study about aedes and you have to study about mansonia theek okay? hai so let's look at the first thing that what diseases are being transmitted by each of it each of these okay diseases transmitted so the first one here is anopheles what is anopheles transmit yes it transmits malaria ओके वॉट अबाउट क्यूलेक्स द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट इज क्यूलेक्स ट्रांसमिट्स जापनीज एंड कैफेलाइटिस ओके हु इज द वेक्टर एग्जैक्टली इट इज क्यूलेक्स ट्राई टीनियो रिंकिस ऑल राइट ऑल्सो क्यूलेक्स ट्रांसमिट्स लिम्फैटिक फाइलेरियासिस द वेक्टर इज क्यूलेक्स क्विंकी फैसियाटिकस all right and it transmits one more disease which is known as west nile fever this is transmitted by culex pipensis so please remember this these are asked directly as mcq culex transmits japanese encephalitis which species of culex it is tritinio rhynchus then lymphatic filariasis it is pinky faciaticus and west nile fever ठीक है देन कम टू एडीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एडीज कैन यू टेल कैन यू थिंक टेक वन सेकेंड एंड थिंक अबाउट द डिजीजेस येस वी हैव योर डेंगी इट ट्रांसमिट्स डेंगी इट ट्रांसमिट्स चिंकनगुनिया ओके चिंकनगुनिया then it transmits yellow fever then it transmits zika virus and it also transmits one rift valley fever okay very important it also transmits rift valley fever so these are the diseases transmitted by anopheles culex and aedes now we come to the most important thing how do you differentiate between anopheles aedes and um, culex okay so let us quickly see the various parameters on which you can differentiate anopheles you can differentiate culex you can differentiate aedes and yahan pe kya hai mansonia okay so the very first question they ask is what about the breeding habits okay so where does anopheles breed it breeds in please remember this clean water this is very important so you can see water tanks resting on top of your houses anopheles breeds in them okay where what where does culex breed this breeds in dirty water dirty water means drains outside your homes okay so drains outside home so they breed in dirty water okay drains outside home at aedes we all know this breeds in artificial collection of water okay okay and what about mansonia mansonia can breed only where there are aquatic plants all right so this is the difference in the breeding places anopheles breeds in clean water culex in dirty water aedes in artificial collection of water mansonia only where there are uh, aquatic plants okay then all of these lay eggs what is the shape of anopheles eggs it's a straight away mcq question okay this lays boat shaped eggs please remember this boat shaped eggs with lateral floats okay this is the first point eggs of anopheles are boat shaped okay like this with lateral floats okay what about culex culex eggs are laid in small clusters okay aedes eggs are laid in uh, they are cigar shaped okay and मैंसोनिया का शेप एग्स का शेप इज स्टार शेप्ड एडीज प्लीज रिमेंबर इट्स सिगार शेप्ड एंड दे ले सिंगल एग्स ओके क्यूल एग्स दे ले इन क्लस्टर्स ओके स्मॉल क्लस्टर्स एडीज सिंगल एग ले होता है सिगार शेप्ड होता है एंड मैंसोनिया इज स्टार शेप्ड 
okay then come to a very important point about the larva what about the larva now if you look at the larva of anopheles you will see that it rests parallel to the water surface okay why because an anopheles larva does not have no siphon tube to attach i'll show you a picture okay anopheles larva rests parallel to the water surface because there is no siphon tube to attach so it will be resting like this okay but ads and culex kaise rest karte hain they rest both of them okay they rest at an angle the larva we are talking about at an angle to the water surface okay what is that ye water surface hai they rest like this so they make an angle because they have a siphon tube to attach okay for mansonia larva it simply you know this is the aquatic plant is does not attach anywhere it rests over here all right it also has a siphon tube so uh, what you need to remember is larva of anopheles rests parallel to the surface because there's nothing to attach nothing to attach with the help of as it does not have a siphon tube but for ads and for culex they have a siphon tube so it attaches at an angle to the water surface okay that is very important all right so let me quickly uh, show you a picture that i wanted to show you of all right i will show you first the larva okay look over here all right so these this is the larva of anopheles dekho ye kaise rest kar raha hai this is resting at a parallel to the water surface okay here it does not have a siphon tube to attach and this is ads and culex they have a siphon tube both of them so they attach at an angle to the water surface mansonia is not usually asked so they will give you this picture and they will ask you this represents larva of which vector All right, so this is very important. Okay, now very important point is that how are we going to identify the adults? Adult Anopheles, how will it be known? Adult Aedes, how will it be known? And Culex. Okay, so the very first thing, suppose you get a picture of a mosquito, please look for uh, look for something which is white stripes on a black body okay if you see white stripes on a black body okay then what is it white stripes on a black body is aedes that is why it is also known as tiger mosquito theek okay? hai if there are no white stripes on a black body you can look at the wings okay if the wings of the mosquito has spots like this black spots okay or spotted wings okay then it is anopheles okay if it is nothing then it is culex okay let me quickly show you a picture of this dekho yes look over here this is clearly representing ads mosquito okay white stripes are on a black body okay this is also known as tiger look over here this look at these wings okay here look at these wings so this wings has what these black marks on it okay so this is spotted wings so this spotted wings agar hote hain then it represents anopheles okay so this is how you identify the uh, vector uh, vector anopheles ads and agar kuch nahi hai it is obviously culex okay all right now is there any other term for culex mosquito yes there is a term it is known as nuisance mosquito why because it uh, breeds in dirty water so it is a nuisance mosquito anopheles is breeding in clean water it is like also called as a sophisticated mosquito all right so these points you should remember next point how does the adult anopheles rest okay this rests at an angle of 45 degree to the water surface sorry to the to the person all right uh, the larva of anopheles was resting parallel to the water surface because it does not have a siphon tube to attach but the adult rests at an angle of 45 degree to the skin all right this you need to know and ads and um, uh, culex that adult that rests parallel to like when they bite they will sit parallel to the skin that is very important okay 
parallel to the skin this also you should know how to identify okay then another thing that could be asked to you is about the flight range of these mosquitoes so for anopheles it is 3 to 5 kilometers for culex it is 11 kilometers okay for anopheles it is 3 to 5 for culex it is 11 and for aedes it is 100 meter okay therefore it is said uh, that all the uh, seaports, all the airports should be free of ADs up to at least 400 meters. And you know, ADs is a vector of yellow fever. We do not have yellow fever in our country. All right. So that is why this is very important that flight of ADs is for 100 meters and all the airports, all the seaports should be free of ADs up to 400 meters. Okay. So this was about uh, anopheles, ADs and culex. So, uh, this was about how you are going to identify each of Anopheles, Aedes, Culex, what are they called and so on. Okay, one thing that you need to know is before we go to the other um, um, insects, mosquito control measures. Okay, this is very important. Okay, for mosquito control measures, you have physical measures. Okay, you have chemical measures. Alright, and you have biological measures. ठीक है, so physical measures में क्या होते हैं? Simple physical measure is the best measure where you carry out source reduction, alright? And also uh, you carry out personal protective measures. Okay, now source reduction is the uh, best measure of mosquito control. Why? Because it is which level of prevention? It is primordial level okay if you remove the source of breeding only there will there will be no risk factor okay so it becomes primordial level of prevention personal protection measures is you wear full clothes you use mosquito net all right so for mosquito net a question is asked that <laughs> Yes, uh, mosquito net care, this is again a primary level of prevention because risk factor is already there, okay. So, best method is your source reduction, it is a primordial level of prevention, then it is uh, uh, mosquito net, it is a primary level of prevention, okay. This is very important, okay. And you should have how many holes per square inch of the mosquito, more than 150 holes, Okay, per square inch of mosquito net. This you should know, they ask in MCQs. Okay, chemical measures kya hote? You are using chemicals like DDT, malathion. Okay, you can also use fentheon. Okay, or you can use what is known as Paris green. Okay, now DDT, malathion, fentheon, these are all anti-adult measures. Okay, they act on the adult mosquito. What is Paris green? These are anti-larval measures. Okay, this is very important. Alright, and these malathion, fentheon or DDT, mostly these are what? These are nerve or contact poison. Okay, they act on an enzyme which is acetylcholinesterase. Okay, this you should remember. And Paris green is a stomach poison. This usually comes at uh, as MCQ, so you should know this. That DDT, Malathion, Fentheon, all these are anti-adult measures. Okay, and how they are acting, that you should know. And uh, the other one is this. Okay.